Hey! Today I am going to make Old Seaside Town soap and much like the last few soaps I've made this is going to be another pastel to go with my um, range I'm going to do for sort of springtime. So this one is a very sort of um, kelpy herbal sea ocean uh, sort of oceany blend but it's like um it's not like really like you know a lot of ocean scents have like a melon kind of a scent it's nothing like that this is definitely your it's got a bit more depth and a bit more herbal but it just whenever I smell it it just smells like kelp and the reason it makes me say that is because you this here I go again Okay, Boots, years ago, used to make a toner, a sea kelp toner for the face. And me and my mum used to use it all the time. And this fragrance that I'm using, this blend I've made, smells very much like the sea kelp toner. So that's why, to me, it smells very kelpy. So we're talking sea kelp here. Okay, so this is old seaside town. So it's got an old sort of vintage seaside -y vibe going on. So for this one, I'm going to use a blue and a green, but I don't know which way around to do it. I don't know whether to do the like a green base rather than a blue. I think I might. I think I might do a pale green base and then use the blue as my globule line that I do, you know? Um, but again, keeping it quite pale. And then through the center this time, I've got some dried Irish sea moss, which is here. So it sort of looks like that. So I'm gonna put that through the middle. Luckily, ooh, it smells really good. Luckily it doesn't smell like fish. You know, you get the seaweed sometimes, like the cut seaweed, it just stinks of fish. And sea kelp powder stinks of fish. It just is not a good idea to put it in soap, but, um. I used to do years ago, but oh, it smells horrible. Anyway, this doesn't smell horrible, it smells lovely. And I'm gonna start. Okay, I'm gonna pour my lye into my oils. And give it a little stick blend. Bejeweled green from the soapery. I'm going to just put a little smidge of that across there. And I might need to add a little bit of white. We shall see. And then I'm using uh, blue steel, this one, from Mica Mama. It's slightly darker than the sky blue I used last time. Slightly darker. Bend this in. Just find another shade. Actually, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of blue in there. 
tiny smidge, a clean spoon, tiny smidge of blue, just a bit more of a bluey green than a pea green. And just take that out. I'm just going to slowly blend that in. like a pea green or it look, you know like a proper sea sort of green okay Clean my mess up a bit. Okay, so fragrance. Jar it in there. Just in there. Yeah, this one's rice. I'm just going to have to stick blend that in. Pretty much got that sorted. Just uh, just decided to rice, and it rice quick, so we don't want that. We can usually beat them, beat them back. Luckily, so luckily with the blue, it's just sat on the top of it, so I can just stir that in in a minute. It's, um, it's strange because I've used this blend before and I've had it go perfectly well and then other times not. It's just a bit odd. But my temp is maybe a little bit warmer today. This is it. Stick blend that blue again. Okay, let's get that on there quickly. too much blue so we just have to let it flow like waves I guess well, at least we got the writing out of it that was ugly really ugly it smells really good though <laughs> So it's forgiven, it does really smell proper nice, proper nice like. Okay, so we should, by rights then, because this is thickened quite a lot, be able to do the other side very quickly. Yeah, it's a lot of blue there, that's okay. Ew. Okay, that's not going to work, so what we're going to have to do is a different design like this. Let's go across there so all is not lost. Okay, that's quite nice actually. <laughs> it ain't too bad. Oops. It ain't too bad. goes the moss. Definitely looks like a wave crashing in actually, that's really pretty cute. Oh 
an intentional new soap design. Okay, that is Old Seaside Town. Get on there. So. Okie doke. I'll be back to cut this one shortly and see what it looked like overall. I think that's quite interesting actually. If you look at the close up of it, it's quite a thick topping. Quite like it. <laughs> okay, I will be back. I will be back shortly for the cut. Okie dokie, back again to cut this one. Old Seaside Town. I hope that we, I hope Morgan Freeman for the win. I hope that we can get to a Seaside Town this summer. And I hope that this country is not in lockdown for the rest of the blooming year. It's been horrible. There's parts of it that have been nice because people are chilling out of it, you know. But oh, being one of the worst hit countries in the world is really not very nice. <laughs> Blame who you like. It is what it is. I don't think we can really blame anybody for this kind of tragedy. People love to blame others, don't they? But I just don't think it's the right thing to do. It is what it is, and we have to deal with these things as they get thrown at us. And thank God that we haven't gone to war, you know? Or have we? <laughs> Anyhow, let's cut through this then. Oh, crike. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm not going to say that's what she said, but I just did. Okay. You can tell that it did rice. If I can get, oh, there's a bit of a bit in, in the middle as well where you can see it's gelled inside. But you can tell, I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but I can, I can tell that the batter riced and it's got kind of a yeah, texture. It's like, there's a little blue dot there of my mic, um, yeah, mica. It's got like texture, which is where that ricing was occurring. I mean, I've managed to beat it out and it doesn't look too bad. It actually goes with the soap, but the scent of this is so good. Really, I really like that. I really like it. Lovely, lovely colours too. I'm really impressed with those, how they've come out. It's just pretty, pretty together. And I like that it's so thick, like the globules on the top came out so thick. I really like it. So this is one of my favourite scents that I've made for spring. And, um... I've only made it a couple of times. Look how that's like got a nice, it's like a step. It's a bit different for me, although that just, I use too much blue. But it's a happy little accident. <laughs> Look, it's a happy little accident. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'd make Bob Ross proud, I reckon. So what's going on this afternoon? Not a lot. It's 20 to 4 now and I'm going home in a minute to go and just be at home and have a nice hot drink. And me and my doggie and Matt's at home today. So we'll probably watch some more Star Trek. So we've been watching lots of Star Trek lately. So that's probably on the agenda for this evening. And then I am making a mac and cheese for dinner, which is full of fat. I've been on a diet again because I needed to lose some of my middle belly fat. 
after Christmas. I've lost three pounds already. So I'm doing all right and I use a company called Team RH. They're on Facebook and they've got an app and they're really, really good and they give you your calories and your macros. So it's, my, it's like more like macro counting again, which is what I used to do before. Three workouts a week, which I'm having to do at home if I find the time. If I don't find the time, I just put more steps in. So my goal is to reach 10,000 steps a day, but I try to do 15,000 so that it sort of um, more, creates more of a deficit in calories and it's working. It doesn't work when I'm hormonal because I'm one of those that retains water. <laughs> Every month I'm like, hey, it's like this, the last time I went up three pound in weight in one day and it was water weight. Absolute insanity, isn't it? And the next morning I'm on the scale, I'm like, whoa, like, that's just absolutely nuts to me. So I take magnesium when that happens and just uh, drink fennel tea. <laughs> Don't eat salt and just be really careful with my uh, food. It's just, you just have to make adjustments and the weight will come back off again. But yeah, overnight, three and no, 3.4 pounds in weight that was water, absolutely crazy. Anyway, here is my lovely soap. And I will be back for the next one, which I think I'm gonna be doing coconut lime verbena. But I'm gonna put my own spin on it, I think. So I will see you later. Ta-ta.